How'd you find me? Asked around. That is so fucking unprofessional. You got a gun? None of your fucking business. Multiple guns? Multiple gun? No. What am I fucking Rambo? Yes, I have a gun. Good. Why good? Because then Lily has a business proposition for you. Um, so Thoroughbreds was a really interesting pick for me. Um, it basically is about these two girls who form an unlikely friendship. They come from two different, you know, worlds. Your typical high schoolers. Um, but both of them have been kicked out of school for some reason of their own. One comes from like a broken home. The other one comes from like, you know, the rich family with the rich stepfather and whatnot, whom she hates. And basically it's their friendship and this bond that they have where they make a pact, kind of, and um, try to kill the stepfather, the evil stepfather, and it's their journey through that. I, I just got a thoroughbreds and I personally loved it. It felt like theater on stage and hearing the talk back, it was not surprising to find out it was a, originally a play that never actually got produced. Uh, it's great. Uh, it's a film that feels like it wanted to be a novel, but instead does everything a novel would do as a film. It's really uh, well paced. Uh, there's a lot of empty space that's really powerful, uh, and it's a really enjoyable film despite uh, the content. And it's really a film that makes you go, shit, I really, I'm bummed that I don't get to watch Anton Yelkin grow old. Like, he's such an amazing actor, and the few scenes he's in this movie, he steals the show, he's so good. The whole cast is good. It's just a really, really great film for people who love slow, dark, fucked up movies. I kind of liked Thoroughbreds. It was okay for me, but I kept thinking how much better Tragedy Girls is. And I saw Tragedy Girls at Fantasia, and I just thought that these two films, if you're gonna choose one over the other, I say go with Tragedy Girls because it's definitely a superior film than Thoroughbreds, even though they're definitely like similar in content. Really fascinating story. I uh, was super involved with it from the moment I started. Great performances from these two young lead actresses in this film. Uh, certainly a creepy vibe that builds throughout sort of the the training of a sociopath, like from one sociopath who knows they're a sociopath and has just kind of made their peace with it, but isn't really a dangerous person per se. They're just like, yeah, I don't have any feelings. It's fine. To someone else who considers themselves, you know, one of those normals, sort of being sucked into the world of what it's like to separate yourself from your emotions and do some truly horrendous things. Very well filmed all the way through. I. I enjoyed this. I think it's a really fascinating little film. Uh, although I'll say it's one of those films I'm almost more interested to see what this director is gonna, and writer are going to do next more than this film in and of itself. I think the two characters in the film were really interesting to have um, sort of the sociopathic sort of non-feeling side of things and then have um, the more emotional side. I thought it explored sort of the interesting um, uh, concept of um, self-realization in that way. Thoroughbreds. I really enjoyed Thoroughbreds. It's a cool movie. It's uh, it's moody. It's got attitude. It's got uh, some cool uh, teenage angst vibes in there. But it's uh, it's got a lot of really great dialogue and great performances from the two leads. It's got the girl from The Witch, uh, Anya something or other, and then uh, another actress. I can't think of her name to save my life. But they were both amazing. Um, Really catchy, funny dialogue, and uh, and a good villain too. Who really, I guess, isn't necessarily a villain, but uh, but you, you kind of hate her father figure. And a uh, good movie. I really like it. If we were gonna do this. We would both need to be far away with airtight alibis. Yeah, creepy friend. I know.